friends, welcome to Fish with Fish. As promised, uh, it's the cleaning and the refurb of the pole box. Um, yeah, it is as dirty as it looks. Um, I've already took the foot plate off and the accessories, anything else that I had on here. So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to break it down very quickly. Um, as I explained before, it is a Ron Thompson uh, carbonite box. It's a really old box but it's never let me down, so uh, I'm going to stick with it. Um, I've not used the, the pole box for probably September last year. We're now into April, nearly the end of April. Um, so it's been sat in the shed. I've took everything out of it so that we can just break it down, start cleaning it straight away. So no mess about it, let's get on, on to it. So let's just take... The topper. I'll give you a proper tour once it's once it's clean. So there's my seat. Then we have a set of drawers. Two small, one large. Oh yeah, and sorry, space at the top. The space at the top to put rigs in, and on the bottom bit, the space there to put a bit of bait or any of your large things, possibly reels or anything like that. I tend not to carry much in the box, I carry it in a separate bag purely because it's easier to carry the box. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to move this out of the way, start at the top, so let's deal with the deal with the seat. As I say it's quite, it's quite old, but like there's no splits or anything like that in it. Um, just needs a clean, so let's get on to it. I'm going to start off with just warm soapy water. I hasn't had one of these cleans for an absolute age. So, just trying to get into some of those those places that other sponges cannot reach. So the clips are still in good condition as well. Uh, when I've actually finished cleaning it all off, I will sort of give it a bit of lubrication with some WD-40. Um, it's not going to be ideal because uh, well, it's plastic and metal, so I should imagine it'd still be okay. Uh, what I'm going to do, because there's going to be obviously a lot of soap residue there, I've got a roll of uh, paper. So what I'm going to do is just give it a quick wipe off. What I'm going to do with this piece of vinyl that's on the top, obviously it's not leather uh, or anything like that. It's not leather or anything like that, so what I'm going to do, still I'm going to use a bit of furniture polish just to feed the vinyl if you like, to stop it cracking, give it a bit more, give it a bit of a feed. Oh, just thinking about fishing all the time, aren't I? Um, so we'll give it a bit of a, a bit of a feed, but I'll show that a bit later on. So there we go, nice clean seat. Let's put that over there. Right, let's move on to the let's move on to the, the section with the with the drawers in. Obviously, for ease, the drawers have got magnets at the back. Uh, they do come out. There we go. There's one. There's two. And obviously, the bigger one. I've put the uh, some of the some of the uh, what's it's in there. For holding on the legs. We'll do the actual box itself first. Again, just hot soapy water. What I might do is maybe a little bit of a little bit of a time lapse here because you've seen one bit of cleaning, you've seen it all. So we've done the inside. That there is where you can put a tray of rigs in there. I tend to think about where I'm going uh, and load up what I think I'm going to need plus a couple of extras. So there's a bit of foam in there on the edges. Right, so there we go. That's the top nice and clean. Let's move on to the sides again, hot soap and water. Oh, 
those of us who haven't got the, the chance to get um, equipment off uh, manufacturers or anything like that, I class myself as just a just a pleasure angler really. Um, does a few videos, that's it. But uh, so we have to, you have to really think about your your kit and really. If you go as often as I do, um, you need to you need to keep it in certain order, otherwise you'll be paying hand over fist for new stuff. So um, checking as I'm doing this, this is the, the panel there is riveted on. It's very thin metal with carbon. Um, back in the day, this was quite a good quite a good box to be honest. Um, wasn't that expensive, but uh, I seem to remember the beaner bit of a waiting list to get them. You ordered them and then you had to wait. Uh, I don't know whether they were made to order or what, but um, no, no decent enough box. But as I say, it's, it's got to be nearly 15, 16 years old, this has. Right. So, let's put that over there to dry. Let's move on to the drawers. It's fairly straightforward, really. Um, as I say, there's nothing in them. There was some pieces of foam to go up the sides and uh, at the back. What I've done is I've taken those out, um, and what I'm thinking of doing is getting a piece of some foam and just replacing them, to be honest. Maybe stick them back in with double sided sticky tape, and it just stops the stuff really sort of rattling about. But as I say, I tend not to keep too much in here. Probably hooks I keep in in the drawers. Actually, that's probably a better idea. Another section done. I think same again really and as I as I said before, I have taken the uh, I have taken the foam out of all of them with a with a view to replace it. I have got some some hard wearing stuff which is a bit better than the soft stuff that was in here. But again it's lasted so long so Oh, I was going to say a bit of rust there, but there's no rust on there. Final draw. It's one of this is one of them jobs, and we we've all got them as fishermen that, but you know they need doing. Like you get back from a session, and it's been particularly muddy or as it was uh, late last year, um, there was so much rain about, so much mud about, and we tend to like put your stuff away, um, look after the stuff that you really want to look after, like your pole and stuff like that. But it's uh, this kind of stuff just doesn't get done. It's a uh, probably a once a year, if that. Uh, you might even do it. Might even do it not that often, or not even do it at all. But it's been a while since I've done this one, at least a couple of years, I would say. Um, and I really, I should have because I didn't use it in the back end of last year. I was using a, a rod and line more. So, there we go, that's the drawers done. Now we're going to work on the base, which is Probably, as I said, uh, the base part, this part in here, is absolutely filthy. Um, and okay. Well, I'm just going to rest that. And then you've got the foot plate. This is fairly straightforward, so it's just a matter of cleaning that off. Uh, yeah, it's not too bad. Uh, and uh, we'll have a look. And again, give it a clean, give it a wipe off, and stuff like that. It's just got the legs left then. That's the actual 
that would be the actual seat box, not including any uh, any sort of add-ons that I've got. But uh, I'll clean those as well because obviously they get used. Right, so just do the legs. These probably the only bit that have got any real wear on them. Um, I'm just trying to see one that's got it. Uh, probably that one. But you can see where the where I've done the done the, the nuts up tightly onto it and stuff like that and it does mark them but uh, it doesn't it doesn't affect the how they how they work or anything like that. They're pretty good. So as they do the feet and as I say, these are the only things that's shown anywhere. The rivets that go through the the ball socket on the feet, he's uh, he's a bit rusty, so I'll give that a bit of WD-40 or even a bit of three-in-one. Okay, so there's one leg done. Uh, it's not a major a major issue to be honest, drying them off, especially when the weather's like this. So I'm just going to give them a quick rub. So let's start off with the base. There we have it. Alright, so we've got a few moving parts on the base. We've got these rings which are for the shoulder strap, um, which is probably the only thing that I, I, I still have it, but it's damaged. It got, well, we've, we've all had it in the past, so I think it was moist damage. But I'm still going to spray these rings up. It's really satisfying actually when things loosen off like that. Right, so <coughs> that's the that's the base. So we've now got our drawers, which are nice and clean. Which are nice and clean. And we've got a drawer section, which again nice and clean. What I, what I am going to do is down in this section here I am actually just going to spray some of the WD-40 although there's not a groove that it sits on it does run on those runners there so there's some runners just inside but on the two sides sorry not on the so I'm literally just going to tiny square There we go. Now obviously I'm doing this back to front for you guys, so you guys can see. And there it goes. Oh, and I, I forgot to mention actually, that there are magnets at the back, and at the back of the box, so that they don't fall open as you... See there's a bit of... holds it in place. So that then fits onto there and clips there. We then have the seat. Now I have actually read about the WD-40 and it does say that it's good for vinyl. So I'm going to give it a go. So let's just clip that on. Let's spoiler off. And it's just straightforward, nice clicks. Um, each one is perfectly all right still. I'm just going to give them a square. And then I'm just going to give this a square. Now, obviously, I'm not going fishing for a while, as any of us. So, what I'm going to do is give that a chance to sink in and I'm just going to give it a quick wipe off. And all that excess WD-40, I'm just going to rub into the, the sides and the front and the back. 
And as you can see, as you can see, it's just giving it a nice, a nice shine. And as I say, that with the vinyl, the vinyl will be because it, I've not put anything on it for a while. It'll be quite hungry if that's a, if that's the right way to say it. But that will soak in into the into the actual vinyl itself maybe give me another year or so before it cracks because what you don't want is vinyl or leather uh, wish it was leather you don't want vinyl or leather to uh, dry out because that's when it cracks okay so I'll just give this a spray on this side Give this front a quick spray, and then hopefully this the WD40 itself will give the, the actual boxer a bit of a lift. And as I say, if I was using the box tomorrow, probably wouldn't use this much WD40. Uh, I'm not sponsored by WD40, by the way, because I keep saying it enough. But uh, there we go. That's looking good now. I'm liking the look of that. And then turn the box around, and that's it without the legs on. Done dusted. And do you know what? I've quite enjoyed that, guys. I enjoyed that.